Okay guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Spectrum Editor inside of Soundtrack. So I'm going to fire up Soundtrack Pro here. Okay, now I'm going to drop me a movie in that I got. Right here. Now if you listen when I play this, you'll hear some clapping. Like that, like somebody clapping their hands in the background. Okay? So let me play it. I've been getting a lot of comments lately and a uh, comment, which was this one, that said, one guy said, I bet you can't find a display that matches the display of the 27-inch iMac for a thousand. You hear that clacking in the background? Matches the display of the 27-inch. Clack. Clack. Matches the display of the 27-inch. Well, I need to get rid of that, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to double-click this to go into my audio file project. Okay? So now here is my waveform. Now, if I click on here and play through, you can hear the claps again. Play the 27-inch iMac for thousand dollars. You know, but we can't really tell where that is happening at, so we need to go in there and surgically remove that sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my Spectrum Editor, which is this little button right here. Okay, and now we have this graph, and if I play it, we get the same sound, and it's a little bit clearer where the claps happen. I have a display that matches the display. Like right, it happened right around in here, and happened right around here. You can see these spikes, but it's kind of hard to see what's going on. So I'm going to right click and say show spectrum controls and I'm going to take my minimum power from negative 96 to about negative 75. Okay, and hit enter. You can see, boom, that changes that. Now I'm going to go up here and mess with my maximum frequency and pull it down. And that's going to bring that background clapping noise right out here, right out so I can see it. So now I'm going to play through this. Well, was spurred by one comment, which was... Well, was right there. Right here, is, right here is that clap. You hear it? Well, was right there. Bam. Well, was I can tell it because I've got this... Uh, you can see it right here. Okay, now that we've narrowed down our spectrum graph here, our spectrum controls. So what I can do is I'm going to go over here and select this little surgical spectrum graph tool. and It'll give me this plus. And I'm going to go in here... And you can zoom in, if you like. Let's find out where we where it was. Right there. Right there it is. So let's go ahead and click and drag around that, like that, right there. And let's hit the delete key. Boom! That gets rid of that. Okay? Now, you can see, if I loop right through here, that clap is completely gone. Completely gone. If I undo, it brings it back. And you can hear it. Hear it? That smack. Let me play it back, over and over. You hear that? Okay. So now, not only can we go in there and just highlight it and delete it, like with the delete key, but you can also, if you want to leave it a little bit of it in there, you know, like if you have birds in the background and you want a little bit of birds left, just highlight your frequency, okay? Highlight your frequency, like so. Go up to Process, Adjust Amplitude, and then you can bring this down, hit OK, and boom, now you see that's much lighter. Okay? It's still a little loud. Just amplitude. Let's turn it way down. Now that clipping and clapping is gone. So there you go. That's how you surgically remove noises in the background that you want out of there, like a bird chirping or a whistle blowing in the background or a car honking or somebody yelling. This is how you go in and surgically remove those things. I hope you've learned something from this quick tip. And we'll see you next time.